On Tuesday, March the 8th, 2016, countries around the world will join in celebrating International Women's Day. A day forged in the cauldron of the struggles of women the world over for better and safer working conditions, better pay, the right to vote, and equal rights for women, among other rights. On this day, men and women join together in honoring those who have struggled for change and improvement in the lives and the affairs of women. It is a day truly to be celebrated. This year, International Women's Day will be celebrated in over 100 countries. So significant has this day become that it is a public holiday in some countries. The theme for this year's celebration is Planet 5050, Step It Up for Gender Equality. The theme derives from the adoption in 2015 by countries throughout the world, Trinidad and Tobago included, of a new sustainable development agenda over the next 15 years. Included among the goals identified by this agenda is the goal of gender equality. Gender equality is no mere theoretical ambition. It is a developmental imperative. With close to half the world's population being female, it is a truth both inescapable and universally acknowledged that our world cannot move forward unless women and girls move forward. The research has long shown that societies that discriminate against women tend to experience less rapid economic growth and poverty reduction than societies that treat males and females more equally. More than simply a benevolent throwaway of policy makers, gender equality is a cornerstone of enlightened economic and social policy. While tremendous strides have been made in the area of gender equality across the globe, much remains to be done. Research indicates that the majority of the world's close to 1 billion absolute poor are women. Pernicious and indefensible wage gaps persist, with women still receiving less pay than men for the same work. And women continue to be victims of violence, with the shocking reality that rape and domestic violence are among the significant causes of disability in women. This year's celebration is tempered by these harsh realities. This is not to say that there have not been significant advances made, especially here at home in Trinidad and Tobago. According to the World Economic Forum 2015 Global Gender Gap Index, a measurement which ranks 145 economies according to how well they leverage their female talent pool, Trinidad and Tobago is progressing reasonably well. Where a rating of zero equals inequality and a rating of one equals equality, Trinidad and Tobago rates 46th in the world with a score of 0.72, closer to equality than not. Trinidad and Tobago's scores for some areas were as follows. Educational attainment, 0.99. Serving as legislators, senior officials and managers, 0.77. Professional and technical workers, 1. And ability for women to rise to positions of leadership, 4.7 out of the highest score worldwide of 7. Insofar as concerns women's ability to rise to positions of leadership, it cannot escape notice that in our parliament, there are now two female presiding officers, and that both clerks of the House and Senate are female. Nor can it be forgotten that in this country, there was recently a female prime minister. We have also had women serving as attorney general and as the minister of finance. In the area of commerce, we have had women serving as the financial services ombudsman as managing directors of large commercial banks and leaders of the chambers of commerce. In almost all other professions, including the legal, medical, nursing and teaching professions, reports are that women are excelling. 
as we celebrate International Women's Day this year, there is therefore much to be thankful for. Still, let us not be forgetful of the work that remains to be done, both in Trinidad and Tobago and in other countries of the world, in which the move towards gender equality has been progressing more slowly. Let us ponder carefully the theme for this year's celebration, and let us all, men and women together, recommit to its ideals. Let us avoid the evil of complacency. Rather, with redoubled commitment, let us, as one nation under God, press on to the mark of ensuring that all girls and all women here and the world over a guaranteed equal access to development and equal access to participation in every sector of social, economic and political life.